What is going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode four of the Town Hall 12 free-to-play series. Today would be day five since we upgraded to this new Town Hall level, and unfortunately, our new Town Hall boosts have concluded, so we no longer have the four-time star bonus. I was really taking advantage of that and filling up my treasury, but unfortunately, the treasury is now empty. So since yesterday, here's what's happened. We had the Town Hall finish its upgrade to level three Giga Tesla, and so we spent 10 million gold this morning on the town hall upgrade to level four giga tesla man i'm gonna tell you right now i was like oh my god are you serious <laughs> That's where we are right now. So we got a builder available and we are trying to steal the Dark Elixir to put down the Archer Queen in order to upgrade her to level 52 since we do have one Book of Heroes in order to, you know, just go ahead and get that instant upgrade complete. Because here's what's going on next week. We got the Clan War League starting and I wanna make sure that I have my heroes available for that. So we're gonna use what is possibly one of the best farming armies at Town Hall 12. For me, this is is basically undisputable i mean baby dragons are great we use baby dragons for the first couple of days but when we cross into this army right here i mean yeah you got to spend a little bit of dark elixir or use one of those new super potions but regardless no matter how you go about it this is the easiest form to steal resources and that's one of the most critical things about town hall 12. so i'm gonna go out and find a base and show you an example for what i'm looking for in masters league all right, so this is just one example of many that you're going to see throughout this video. Now, you do not need to farm in just Masters League. I've seen gold and elixir and dark elixir all throughout this game in Gold League, Crystal League, Masters League. We even got players over in Paradox Enigma that are up in Titans League stealing massive resources with this army. And so realistically, this is why I say this is the easiest army in the game when it comes to stealing resources, because all you got to do is drop a few of these sneaky goblins around the village and steal steal the resources that are on the outsides and then if there is resources inside the village that's where you use your super wall breaker so let's see if we can drop a super wall breaker and open up the compartment release a couple of goblins to just basically kind of distract a little bit and i also need to get them out of my queue because when it comes to your farming armies and using the quick train tab a lot of times when you try to do this and save your army the whole army in the quick train tab gets all messed up i'll show you an example of that here in a second so it looks like we got clear access to the town hall but we do have the battle blimp that we can use as well so we got a little bit more dark elixir on this village and we also have our heroes that we can use so let's release the super wall breaker there and a super wall breaker there that we can drop to open up the compartment for these troops and let's release a little bit of sneaky goblins we got all these other distractors here we got the gold storage the elixir storage we got this dark elixir drill that we're ultimately after let's use that king's ability and see if we can grab the rest of the resources out of that and that's pretty much it now now we can just go ahead and release a battle blimp and go in here and take down the town hall and secure the win. That way we can try to get a little bit of something out of this and not exactly just take the loss. But you don't always have to take the win either. If you're trying to stay in a relatively low trophy range, then naturally you want to take the loss every once in a while. That way you're not pushing up in trophies. But now let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when you have a mismatched army or your army doesn't get used all the way. Let's say that you're trying to conserve those resources. Then you go back into the quick train tab and you're going to see that my army got all messed up because you can train two different armies and so we only have three of the super wall breakers and 78 sneaky goblins and now the other army is all messed up so this is where you could say the quick train tab doesn't exactly work exactly how you want it to this is why i always go back in and do it manually so now i have to go back in and fix my army and then go find another raid so we've talked about the army that we use, we talked about the leagues that I farm in, and we've also discussed that quick train tab and having to fix that secondary army. Now let's talk about the consistency and how often you need to raid in order to keep these resources coming in fast. I like to sit here for like an hour, and a lot of times when I record these videos, I will use a training boost and get the most out of those training boosts by farming for you guys. I mean, realistically, I get most of my gameplay in by recording videos. A lot of times, if I want or if I need to put down a builder immediately, 
immediately within the same day, then I might activate a training potion later on in the evening when I little, got a little bit of time to play the game. But realistically, it's just a matter or a uh, formula of the right army in the, tri the right trophy range with the right consistency. And you should be able to be successful with keeping those builders down nonstop. And that's one of the biggest things that we're going to have to really focus on as a Town Hall 12 is really long upgrade times with really high prices and if we don't have the magic items to compensate that that's where we're going to have to really kind of sit here and do a little bit of grinding so we're going after the dark elixir that's available on this village this is a very dead base and we got a bunch of resources that are in the storages as well as the collectors themselves so we're trying to use our troops wisely to try to get as much as possible and it looks like we're almost full on our elixir as well that's something also that we have to take into consideration all right so we got air sweeper facing down this way and up towards that way and we got a town hall with some dark elixir right next to it as well so let's go ahead and use that king's ability it looks like the queen is going to go off to that side let's go ahead and drop some sneaky goblins there and let's release the battle blimp to go up into the town hall and prepare with a freeze spell because we got to watch this air sweeper that's going to target that uh, battle blimp and then let's go ahead and drop a rage spell there and go ahead and take care of that and then we can release maybe a jump spell right right here or something i don't really know where are they going to go where are they going to go okay so they're going after the clan castle let's go ahead and drop an invisibility spell right there and then they're gonna go after that elixir storage oh come on boys you guys got this all right so i think we're out of jump spells we don't have any more jump spells but we do have some super wall breakers that we can use to help out so let's go ahead and grab the resources from this side actually it doesn't even matter it looks like we're full on elixir so i'll tell you what we're gonna do let's just go ahead and get crazy with us drop our <laughs> super wall breakers to open up this compartment let's release uh super uh or sneaky goblins as well as a grand warden go after the resources that's in that compartment let's go ahead and freeze something there let's go ahead and freeze that there and just go ahead and reset this whole army using the grand warden's ability as they try to protect and let's go ahead and freeze this can we get the gold out of there <laughs> oh, yeah we did it all right good job boys let's go ahead and dump those two goblins and dump that poison spell that way we can completely reset the army actually it didn't really matter i ran out of time but look at the amount of resources guys this is crazy now what do you do when you are full on resources but you got one builder and you're designating it for another location we know that we want to put down the archer queen well this is where the walls come into play this is where we just go ahead and spend off a little bit of resources since we're using sneaky goblins and since we have that training boost going on where's my barracks mm, there was my barracks right there when we got the training boost activated you can afford to go ahead and just dump a little bit of resources do a piece of wall that way you can keep working towards your goal you got to be disciplined in this stuff but you can do it i promise so another question that some of you out there might have is, do you have to have clan castle troops or heroes to use this army? And the answer to that is not really. You just got to be a little bit more selective on the bases that you're taking on. Now, this base is very much alive and we are using a resource collecting seeking troop in the Sneaky Goblin. So naturally they target only the resource collectors before they target anything else. And we have to be a little bit more strategic about our attacking using our super wall breakers wide dropping only a few of our sneaky goblins to try to grab the resources that we're after looks like we got sneaky goblins on the dark elixir drill right there and let me see if i can find the rest of it let's go ahead and drop one two three four there's a drill right there so that works out let's go ahead and drop the one there one there one there and i think there's what three there's three drills on a town hall 12 and we've gotten two of them so there is one right here and then we have the storage so we could drop a super wall breaker here and here to try to distract open up compartments and let's see if we can grab a few of these resources out of this section and clear out this compartment that way everything focuses in towards the town hall like we want them to now we got our heroes we could use our heroes but we would try not to do that that's the goal here to show you that you can do it now we got to pay attention to where they're going they're going to get the gold out of there almost so let's drop a few more and then let's let's kind of focus in on this area let's go ahead and drop a jump spell there let's release our sneaky goblins in this zone let's drop a poison spell let's go ahead and freeze that in eagle let's drop a raise spell and a heal spell and see if we can get in here and try to take down that dark elixir out of the storage all right so they're going to get all the way in there and steal the storage or steal the resources out of the storage but unfortunately they will not make it to the town hall so even with all those spells we were just a little unsuccessful but if this was a dead base we wouldn't have to deal with that as much so let's go ahead and walk away from this one actually i'm gonna go ahead and re you know, retrain this whole army because we did kind of mess it up and i'm gonna put it like this guys to be real with you about this is that not every single raid is going to be pretty you 
don't have to be 100% pretty every single raid. I mean, I think players get like this misconception that every single attack has to be just like a war attack or something, and that is not always the case. Farming is not glamorous by any means. I'm gonna put it like this. It's just, it's sloppy, it's very ugly at times, and honestly, as long as you're getting the resources, who really cares, you know? And that's the way I feel about it, is that I have no problems doing this right here. I'll surrender, it's all good, but I'll take that 8,000 Dark Elixir, you know what I mean? All right, so I think this is gonna be our final raid, and I think I've covered just about every single little tip or trick that I do when I farm and steal these resources really fast to try to keep my heroes down or try to keep my builders active. That is the overall goal of all of it, is to make sure that we keep progress going in the village and making sure that we don't waste time by having builders idle for too long. So we need the 6,000 Dark Elixir off this village, that way we can put that queen down. We've collected a lot of gold and elixir in this on this video as well so it's like you know you've gotten to see a little bit of everything and the funny part about all of this is that most of you guys probably already know this if you follow me through town hall 10 and town hall 11 because realistically it's like the same thing over and over and over again i mean at the end of the day no matter how you twist clash of clans whether you are a town hall 8 town hall 9 town hall 10 or even a town hall 11 it's realistically all the same you can do the same tips and tricks that you did in the lower levels so we got this queen and that Grand Warden on the map, and the idea here is to try to get in on that uh, that Dark Elixir storage and steal the resources out of it and see where she's going to go. Is she going to go into that? Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Let's go ahead and use that ability and claim the Dark Elixir. 7,000 Dark Elixir remains, and I think it's going to be over here in the Town Hall. So let's go ahead and release the Battle Blimp over here to target the center of this village. Let's use a Freeze spell on this Air Sweeper and Air Defense and allow that Battle Blimp safe passage directly to the town hall and steal the town hall resources as well as destroying it and i think we can walk away just like that we got the win we wasted a little bit of troops but we got six thousand dark elixir and we can finish up the video just like this we started with what 142,000 dark elixir at the beginning of this video and now we have 205,000 dark elixir to do this right here let's go ahead and put this queen down for upgrade spend off 204,000 dark elixir oh my gosh it's all gone but we can use the book of heroes to bring her back and we could go ahead and get back to work if we wanted to but instead i think we're going to go ahead and do this we need to put down an elixir storage for upgrade because we got three more to go we got a bunch of gold when is the next builder going to be available in the next 19 hours all right, it costs us $3 million to put down a elixir storage, so I tell you what we need to do. We need to get rid of some of this elixir because we got the sneaky goblins trained up. We need to keep going. So I'm going to spend off some elixir, 5 million elixir. I know some of you probably don't believe in this, but if you frequently attack and frequently raid and steal resources, you can regenerate that really, really fast. And we're going to go ahead and end the video like this. Let's go ahead and put this elixir storage down for $3 million, which will leave us with $6 million. Not a big deal. Gives us a little bit of wiggle room just in case but we got to get these storages maxed out that way we can use runes in the future because we're just wasting runes if we don't have maximum capacity dude i just realized that we went through this entire video doing some resource farming and tips and tricks and stuff like that when it comes to fast farming and none of it was really funny man i'm gonna tell you what i owe you guys grandpa next week i'm gonna have to give him a call and have him come back in for you guys for a couple days or something a couple videos something i don't even know guys let me know down in the comments below what you want i'll try to make it up to you next week if you enjoyed the content today, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And if you like watching us quite regularly, turn on those notifications. If you need any additional video support, or you would like to see the start of this series or the Town Hall 11 series, which is basically the same thing, click one of those links over there, and we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.